Hey, good morning. It's me, Gabby the Gab, and the show is the one we do every week, visiting with great people who we love, all sorts of fun things going on. And we are in the middle of summer, 90 degrees, July, and tomorrow night is Rockabilly for Food for Thought. But we're looking for Bob in the meantime, one of my favorite guys, Juan Padro. Good morning, Juan. Morning. And well, it's been a nightmare trying to get on, but we're on and we're going. And I must say, it's probably my fault, but who knows? (laughs) Anyway, how are things going? And thank you so much for being part of the event. Yeah, things are things are great, and um, I know that uh, Max and Emily are are gonna uh, do the event and are excited about that. And um, and Nikki, who works at Highland Tap, is friends with Bob, so she had asked me about this actually prior to you. She could have the day off to work it, so it was we actually, you know, in a in a staffing shortage, actually had somebody that was already going to be working down there, which was great. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're, we're, we're excited to do the event. And generally speaking, everything else is going uh, really well. And, we're, you know, our, our, uh, our company's growing and we've got more stuff opening and we're, hi- you know, we're still hiring people. But, um, you know, we're, I think we're, uh, um, we feel pretty confident where we're at. And, yeah. That's great. I have a couple of questions uh, when... Uh, Okay, just answering Bob Bell. I can't go anymore. Anyway, with summer and everything happening, it is so hard to get help, is uh-huh. what I'm hearing. I mean, from what I have seen and heard, the restaurants are very busy and thrilled. Yeah, the restaurants are busy. Um, you know, staffing is, is definitely an issue. Um, you know, I think that, um, you know, there's this kind of notion that people are leaving hospitality because it's like this terrible industry to work for, which is just complete BS. Um, you know, I, I've been down to Mexico four times in the last seven months and run into so many hospitality people God, living off unemployment in Mexico. It's unbelievable partying their, their butts off. So, um, you that know, I've heard. Oh yeah. It's crazy. It's absolutely, it's unbelievable how many people I run into down there. Um, so, you know, um, I, in September when the additional unemployment benefits run out, I think we'll see another spike. We saw a huge spike in applications when governor Polis basically paid people to go back to work uh, and said that they would get a, a bonus after two months of 1600 bucks or something like that. Um, which was, which was pretty unbelievable. Um, and uh, I, I don't know percentage wise, but I know that resumes started coming in at a pretty good clip then. And, and, and we got we got pretty well staffed up at that point in time. So. Wow. Good for you. Oh, here he is. Good for you, because yeah. I mean, it's another world just to be out and to see people and to see a bar and just to live again. Right. Is so great. And now, as soon as we'll get to him and just say, and I've had a great time at all of your places, and you've added 20% uh, tax tip on, right? Uh, it's a service charge, so yeah. it's a little bit different than a tip, but um, it does go to the employees. So, um, you know, we can just, we just slant there. Um, the language is important there because um you know you can't really share tips with people on a client base and service charge belongs to the house whereas the tip belongs to the employee so uh, we do leave the tip line in and uh and on top of the 20 percent service charge um about 60 percent of people in the, are, are still leaving an average of 12 percent above that oh uh, good for them yeah so all that goes to the front of the house um and uh and look if people aren't using the service charge model right now um yeah they're just delaying the inevitable so um, you can't do it the numbers don't work in a restaurant without the service charge um you know much beyond this year with the wave 
good for all of you and let's god love the industry bob can you hear us absolutely good morning okay well uh juan has already said that one of the lovely people who work for you nikki has made it clear that juan was going to be in it even before i got to him <laughs> good morning juan thank you for being part of this of course bob nice and we were just talking about the restaurant industry and all of that. And Juan, tell us for, well, okay. Food for Thought Rockabilly is tomorrow night, which yeah. I call people from five to 11. Is that right? That's correct. You got it. You got it. It's at Metro. Why don't you just sort of explain where it is? Yeah, I'm sitting right outside of it now. So it's on the Tivoli uh, Union uh quad which is uh typically is the student union for the university campus and they've got a, a one acre quad out here that we're busy setting up on right now so it's at 900 900 Auraria parkway uh free parking in the parking garage directly across from the union um and it's uh, we, we've sold out the event we're gonna have 1250 people down here right. um, and this will be our seventh event and um, just, just quickly, while Juan is here, and if you can just fathom what well, Juan no, that's is going to be here, we're, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, what? I mean, I can't really process what that industry has been through. I, you're correct. I hang out at uh, Highland Tap, and uh, those employees I've known for a lot of years, and uh, they work for a company there that you know takes great care of them. And uh, if you can imagine that those restaurants, after what they've gone through, will come down here and support the kids that we feed. Um, you know, all we had to do is ask and the answer is yes. And we're going to have 15 of Denver's best restaurants down here and everybody's going to eat well and drink well. And, uh, it, it's Gabby, you taught us this a long time ago that that restaurant industry is the most generous group of human beings I've ever encountered. Well, they, they, they account for everything in my Amen. life. I mean, yeah. I can babble along and people like Juan, and all of them do all the work, support the community, and yep. the event is going to be great called Rockabilly. And the money that's raised goes to give weekend meals to the families of how many elementary schools? Well, when we shut down in May for the summer, we were in 72 different schools and 10,000 kids doing 40,000 bags every month uh, out of here. And you're right, Gabby, 100% of the money we have no overhead in this program. So 100% of what's raised from the ticket prices uh, on through the sponsorships goes strictly to, to, to feed these kids. And again, because of the generosity of people like Juan and places like Highland Tap, you know, our overhead is zero. Juan, have to talk to you though. Hey Juan, Hi. First, I love, first, tell us what you're serving. And as I am talking and want you to talk, let me just say, you were the first ones to help them with Rico. You're the first ones to help with everything I've ever asked for. And I don't even ask for anything and you just do it. So you talk to me because you're a great guy. Thanks. So you want to know what we're going to be serving? Yeah. Yeah. About whatever Fortunately, you know, we're in the middle of, of uh, redeveloping um, the, the 15th and Wazee uh, location. And uh, so Max, um, you know, has a cycle here that uh, so that it's always a treat when Max cooks, because I think he's, in my opinion, you know, uh, head and shoulders above the rest. And, and um, give you know, Max he, a whole name in case somebody Max doesn't know. Cook, uh, yeah, he's great. Um, but he um, he's you know, like you said earlier, it's going to be 90, 100 degrees. So we're going to do a cucumber and cashew uh, gazpacho and just kind of keep it cool and fun and light for people. And I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of other good food as well, um, you know, at the event. So. And tell me, what are you doing on 15th and Wazee while we're talking? So we are, uh, uh, we're going to launch a concept called A5. And uh, as, as you probably know, A5 is uh, a rating, a Japanese rating system of uh, cows and, um, and beef. Don't feel uh, bad. I didn't know. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, you know, uh, the, the most exceptional beef in the world and, and, um, you know, the letter rates, the cow and the number rates, the quality of the meat. And, and, uh, it's, it's, so it's pretty amazing. So we have an A5 program. We'll have a grass fed program. We'll have a prime program. Uh, we're going to do a lot with seafood. Um, as you know, Ben Wolven works for us, goes by Oyster Wolf these days, but, um, but we've always, you know, been known for having the best oysters and we're going to expand that to, you know, tons of other stuff. And, um, and this is going to be sort of a, a funky steakhouse. So it's not going to be your traditional kind of like, you know, cap grill ocean prime, you know, sort of old school steakhouse. It's, it's definitely more fun, cheeky, uh, modern. It's gonna, you know, we'll have a, a cool, almost like tropical co cocktail program. And then, uh, and, you know, it'll have the, it'll have the, the, the wines as well. Like a lot of, um, it'll have a pretty, pretty heady wine program as well. So we're pretty excited about it. And we think with, with what's happening at Ball Arena, um, you know, that's really the right concept for that location. And when is it opening? Should be September. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Bob, we'll have to get that for next time. Amen. Amen. We'll have to get there in September. Well, yeah. well you and I are going in September, but that's, a, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, somebody's showing pictures. Good idea. Uh, so this is the plan tomorrow, right? Yeah. You're looking at the, uh, the setup of the stage. That's the Tivoli Center behind it. Um, the stage is rolling in. The tents are uh, just being put up. Where oh, there uh, they are. He's got them. Whoever's doing it, thank you. That's me. I'm multi-talented, Gab. Oh yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> you talk and you watch, drink. The, watch this. I'm doing panorama. Is that badass yeah, or what? Yeah, he yeah. talks and drinks. Uh, <laughs> okay, so people don't have to be on top of each other because. It's a huge area and the restaurants from what I read seem to be under tents sort of. Yes, all, all restaurants will be, uh, all restaurants will be uh, fully tented. Um, and then we've got a VIP tent. That's what's going up right now, right in the middle. Um, but yeah, so it'll be, it'll be well lit. Well, at least you'll be shaded on a, on a warm day, but by evening it should be just perfect. Great. And Juan, I do have to tell you that when Bob Bell gave me my orders this year of restaurants, the first one he said is, we have to have Juan Padro. And oh, very nice. I said, well, okay. <laughs> okay with me. Only thing he didn't say is Juan Padro didn't have to bring Bruno Mars. Oh, yeah, you remember that, right? <laughs> uh, never forget that. Yeah. Uh, and Kate, Bob, Juan, and Bruno are good friends. I think we may have lost Bob Bell, but that's okay. I, and I didn't want to tell him his panorama was getting shaky. <laughs> anyway, as we wait for him, Highland Tappen Burger is it's always the favorite. And, I just want you to put one next door to me. Well, we're growing. So we have one coming in Westminster in September. That does not help me. No, it doesn't help you. But what I'm saying is that if there's a location that you know of that I am unaware of. Oh, I want one so bad right near me. It's just so much fun and great. And I think we've lost Bob totally. Yep, we lost him. And with that, we, you have Ashkara, which yeah. is a real favorite of mine. Yeah, and that's a fun place to eat. Mediterranean, Senor Bear, which is fabulous. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, Mistroso. Yeah, and we've never really done anything like Mistroso. That, that, has, been, um, that has been so busy um it, well it's the, little and fun and great yeah but it's our highest it's our highest sales restaurant at that size no way yeah i'd never seen anything like it so we're we're actually um i'm going to tell you something that I, that nobody knows yet <laughs> well this is a secret so if you're it's listening secret. today right. you're sworn to secrecy uh, go yeah. ahead so we we uh, we bought Ogden Street South, and uh, we're putting a Mister Oso in Ogden Street South. Oh wow! Give me the address of that. 
So that, um, you know, the ad, it's right behind Country Club Towers. I don't think I have the actual address of that, but I can look real quick. I don't know Country Club Tower. It's got to be near me. It's not too far from you. So it is 77 South Ogden Street. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that is like a neighbor. Oh, go. that is incredible. So when will you be doing that? That'll open in December. God, we have so many secrets. <laughs> yeah. And not and not to forget, which I still haven't been to. Forget me not. Oh, that is a special place. <laughs> well, who put the pictures up with the oysters? The other That's time? Ben. That's Oyster Wolf. He's amazing, right? I saw that and I thought, Juan, you are no longer my boyfriend until you take me there. <laughs> well, well, we'll have to set up a date for, for some happy hour oysters. And oh, there's nothing I like more. Bob, you're back. I'm back. Sorry about that. That's okay, because you know what? We've been talking about some great things, and Juan has another new space. So your restaurants are all fabulous. Great. Oh, we didn't even talk about Bardot, too. Yeah, Bardot. And you know... Um, Russell Stippich is the chef at Bardo, and I, I, I can't think of a more underappreciated chef than this guy. He's unbelievably good. Well, why and, don't we do something with him one day? Yeah, I, I, I just, you should have him on. He, he, his food is exceptional. It's never been better than it is right now. It's delicious. Well, you've had a pretty good run of chefs in that restaurant. That's right. That's right. And, he, and, and for this particular cuisine, he's the best of all of them. For the particular... Wow. Wow. Okay, let's do a quick wrap up. And so we all can get going because everybody, you're leaving town, you have a thing, I have a thing. Bob. Yep. Oh, tomorrow night, Rockabilly. Tomorrow night, Rockabilly Gates, five o'clock, 900 Auraria Parkway. Uh, tickets are sold out, but uh, we'll see uh, 1,200 of our uh, closest friends and uh, got Cowboy Mouth live flying in from New Orleans uh, this tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be uh, a great, great evening. Okay, one quick thing. If yep. anybody's watching this and doesn't have a ticket, can they try to walk up? Nope, no, no tickets at the gate. Well, glad you all heard about this, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and Juan, anybody yep. who can't go there, can go to any one of your fabulous restaurants. That's Perfect. right. That's right. We love you, Juan. We love you, Bob. We love all Thanks, of Gab. you for supporting you. Food for Thought Rockabilly. Please like and subscribe on YouTube to The Gab so you can see this all. We'll have it up on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as soon as we can. Travel safe, Juan. Please Thanks, come back safely so I can Good see luck, Bob. you. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Thank you, brother. I appreciate everything. Thank All you. Right, Much love to everybody for your support. Have a great day. Thanks, Deb.